Hi, uh, I'm going to show you the basics for adjusting brightness and contrast on images from the Scanning Electron Microscope Lab and also how to attach the Eastfield logo to the to the images. So first of all, I'll just open uh, Adobe Photoshop here as you can see and I've already got some images in but it's quite simple to get images in you go to file and you go to open and wherever you have your images stored uh, you can pick them up. So I've got some images I'm going to add a logo here uh, we use a standardized logo for the for the images that are uh, that belong to Eastfield. So right here, I'm just going to open this one up, so you can see what happens. So you just get pictures in there. I've got several images open here, and you can see that they're listed under this little tab right here, uh, a check mark by the one that you're currently using. So let's go back to this first image right here, uh, which is a, a, a micrograph of part of an aster flower. So um, in this particular case, in order to add our logo or to do any changes we need to change the mode of the image so the image needs to be in uh, a red red green blue so on the tab up here where it says image go to mode and then select RGB color alright that's your first step whatever you're gonna do uh, that allow you to add colors to it and it will also allow you to uh, add layers and that's how we're gonna change brightness contrast so on this particular image I'm gonna add a layer I'm gonna go up to under layer I'm going to go to an adjustment layer which is down here new adjustment layer and I've got all kinds of choices but the one I use for black and white is going to be brightness contrast pick that right there just say okay and you'll see I get a little selector over here which which uh, will change the brightness and contrast so now I can just grab this brightness contrast and I can go all the way from you know super light to super dark so again what what we're doing again is we're just trying to get the prettiest picture so um, let's go back and put that on zero again over here on the right I'm gonna try the contrast now and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust these until I get a picture like I like which is great and I really do like that picture so now what I'm gonna do is I wanna add our logo so I'm gonna go back under this little box here on the right hand side and there's my logo click on the logo which is already loaded I wanna select it with this tool right here the rectangular marquee tool click on that and I'm gonna get the whole thing you notice that I, c I could actually drag all the way across uh, bigger than the image and it, it grabs the whole image I'm going to, I'm going to um, copy that with a control C or you can actually if you want to you can copy it through edit just a regular copy it's control C I'm now going to go back to the image um, that I was modifying which is file 1 and I'm going to do a paste and I've already got this sized so that you can uh, you can insert the the uh, logo so click on the move tool up here I'm going to grab this image and I can move the logo now the first the first place that we'd like to see the logo is down here on the bottom left if that covers up part the second place would be on the bottom right if if uh, both those are going to cover something up then you'd want to put the top left and the, the last choice would be the the top right so in this case there's nothing really important in the bottom of the picture here so I'm going to put our logo right there alright so now this this picture is actually finished um, so now I'm going to save it and this is also a pretty big image it takes a lot of space so I'm going to go under uh, save for the web and other devices and you see you can do an alt shift control s if you want to uh, but I'm going to click save for web devices um, I've got a window here I'm going to say save I'm going to simply navigate to the file where I want this saved which in this case I want it to go to uh, an SEM file my SEM file aster and you would of course pick your file aster for the blog and I'm going to give it a name here and this is uh, I don't know we we'll just leave it file one that'll work for now say OK and that's going to that's going to that's all there is to it now the last the last step here and it's kind of important is be sure and when you close this image it's going to ask if you want to if you want to save the changes I always say no because I the the, the original image is, is saved in case I want to go back to it unchanged uh, so say no because you've already saved it as a different thing now you just just go to the next image and do the same thing again now uh, let me show you on a uh, on a color photo this was taken with our dissecting scope it's a, uh, it's not any big deal here in fact let me find a well, that's that's better centered all right so once again this is already in color so you notice I don't ha I don't have to select for the mode I don't have to select the R the RGB because it's already selected but what I am going to do here is I'm going to add a layer again a new adjustment layer and I'm going to change brightness contrast again say OK on that I get my slider over here and then I, these are almost always a little dark for me so I'm going to change I'm going to change that um, so uh, so now that we've we got the brightness the way we want it you'll notice that the way I've got the screen this image is a little bit big so there's a couple things I can go under view and I can I can go under uh, actual uh, sorry fit on screen which or I can do a control O in either case that gives you the whole thing on the screen there 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, these images are way too big for the web. So we're going to go down to image size. And we only have to do this on the, the pictures taken with the dissecting scope. And we're going to change this to 1280. Notice if you did, when I did that, that it also changed the height. So these, these guys are actually locked together. Uh, it's these, these boxes down here, you make sure they're checked. I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to do a Control O to see it's uh, to make it fit on the screen again, and that's what the picture looks like. Now I can paste in uh, Control V our logo, and our logo goes right down in the corner right right here. Uh, once again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save for the web, and, uh, and we're just going to leave that image name right there. Actually, I want to I want to do this. This is the uh, the uh, stigma. No, sorry, the carpal. And I'll say save, and we're done. Then I'm going to close this image, and once again, what I'm going to do is it's going to ask me, do I want to save? Do I want to save the change? I want to say no because I want that original image to be there in case I want to I want to use it. All right, so um, that's pretty much how you uh, how you work in Photoshop. Very basic ideas uh, of actually changing the brightness contrast. Remember, you have to go up under image. Your first step with black and white pictures is to make them RG, RGB color, red, green, blue color. Uh, and then under layers, you want a new adjustment layer to change the brightness and contrast. And by the way, if you don't change the picture to RGB, uh, you cannot do an adjustment layer. So if this, if layers grayed out for some reason, that's why you didn't do RGB. All right, so there's your basic Photoshop.